this is the KitchenAid KUDE70 uh, FVSS all stainless steel dishwasher. You can see it has a bottom rack for large dishes, including a whole host of handy uh, storage compartments. Uh, many of these storage compartments feature doors to prevent small items from uh, falling out into the bottom of the uh, the tub. The upper rack, uh, usually where dish, uh, glasses are placed, has two fold-down tines and is adjustable for height. Um, means you can put larger plates in the bottom or you can put longer stem glasses up top. The top rack, while secure in place, is very easy to remove for cleaning out the bottom of the tub, removing the filter, or for showing it off. Here you can see in the back the blue power scrubber jets uh, that are featured on this model, as well as a nice rotating pivoting arm, a heating element, as I'm pointing to here, and uh, I believe that's a float mechanism to prevent any kind of flooding. Uh, also, there's a removable filter. The door features a flip-down lid. Uh, if you look, it's perforated on the right side. The left side holds the um, fluid or, or uh, tablets. The right side, uh, where it's perforated, is a pre-wash, and what I'm pointing to now is the, uh, the compartment for the jet dry. Now comes the real test. Here's, uh, here's me taking all sorts of nastiness and uh, putting it off into the dishwasher. I've got, uh, those are nachos with uh, uh, baked cheese on the plate because I put it in a microwave. You can see the cake that I just mashed onto the plate. Uh, syrup, bits of garlic, um, uh, pasta that I just put in there, eggs, and this pan I actually, I, I used to fry the eggs to uh, to get it real baked onto the pan, just to show show the capabilities of how impress impressive this dishwasher is. This is my favorite part of the whole dishwasher right here, that third rack. If you have uh, an item that won't fit on the bottom, um, like the tray out of your microwave or a, a baking tin, it fits right in there. In this dishwasher, there's a compartment for everything, and uh, most of them do double duty. You'll never find yourself wanting for uh, any extra space. These silicone nipples are some of the hardest things to wash because they never come out well. They always come out with a greasy film. Here I'm taking the uh, wash tablet, placing it in the uh, proper compartment, and I'll be uh, running this dishwasher. You can see all the different cycles here. The, uh, the group on the left are the wash cycles, and the group on the right are the different features you can select during the wash cycles. You can pick many different features, and it's a smart dishwasher. It'll know if uh, that feature isn't available on that cycle, and it'll blink at you. So just how quiet is a KitchenAid dishwasher? It's rated at 41 decibels. But what does that mean to the average consumer? Well, when we're engaged in normal conversation, such as, such as I am now, that's right about 55 decibels. Um, a vacuum cleaner at 30 feet away, that's, a, that's right about 60 decibels. Um, and when you're sitting in a quiet library, that's about 35 decibels. But what does 40 decibels, 41 decibels mean? Well, a decibel is a measure of sound pressure waves, okay? Um, the maximum decibels you can have for Earth's atmosphere is, uh, for the density of Earth's atmosphere, is 191 decibels. Um, that's because you can't saturate the uh, atmosphere with any more pressure than that. And this dishwasher makes 41 decibels. So being that the scale goes from 0 to 191, Every three decibels is doubling the noise. So if you have three decibels, double the sound will be six decibels. And then if you double the sound of six decibels, you have nine decibels, and so on and so forth. 
This is 41 decibels. My old Bosch dishwasher was 51 decibels. That's, uh, that's about nine times louder than this. Uh, yes, it did sound like somebody was driving a truck through the living room, uh, which is why I'll never buy a Bosch again. Um, as you can hear, this dishwasher is engaged in the uh, wash cycle, and uh, for a dishwasher, it's very, very quiet. KitchenAid put a lot of thought into the design of this dishwasher. When I first learned that with this you had to buy a special adapter for your water line, I wasn't thrilled. Um, I like using flared fittings because I have a flaring tool in the garage and usually flared, flared fittings are a um, stronger, uh, stronger method of connection. That's why they use them on gas lines. Not saying that the standard compression fittings used are bad. Um, but what I found in looking at it more closely is the piece that you buy from KitchenAid, it's a ten dollar piece, uh, it's a very gradual 90 degree elbow instead of what you would normally find which is like a hard elbow. And I can attribute this to sound. When you have a hard elbow, the harder the turn the more turbulence you get in the water. The more turbulence you get, the more sound. There are other significant uh, features as well in relationship to sound. The whole, uh, you can't see it, but the whole shell is covered in a sound deadening uh, insulation. It's, it's thick, it's probably an inch thick, and it works to absorb sound. Here you can hear the dishwasher filling, or you can't hear it possibly the better choice. You can see that it's uh, clean. It has a blue LED that's illuminated. Um, so let's take a look. Clearly it gets hot in there. Our top tray. Pizza. This is the knife that I so love. Uh, I would never put this knife in another dishwasher. But since it does have the nice rack, I don't mind doing it with this one. Yes. Uh, I probably should have uh, waited till the dry cycle was completely done. But look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I'm out of spot on these bad boys. And we left them nasty. Look at that. This is going to be the real test, but I can't pick it up yet. It's quite hot. Absolutely flawless. If you remember, I, uh, I scrambled some eggs in this and uh, let them dry up.